Okay, this is a brief tutorial about the Portfolio Assessment at Lansing Community College for Technical Writing 124 and Business Writing 127. The key elements of the Portfolio Assessment um, in 124 and 127, there's one review and evaluation by an outside reader who is another Writing 124-127 instructor. This occurs in week 14 and extends through week 15. And during this time, um, written feedback for students will be provided from the outside reader. Grade sheets are provided by the coordinator. The portfolios are all digital, and the course management system is used. Currently, we have ANGEL. During the portfolio evaluation, instructors create a portfolio folder in their, their own ANGEL space. The instructor creates individual discussion boards for each student within that folder. Each individual discussion board is labeled with the student's number. Students are instructed to replace their names with their student numbers throughout their pieces. This is to make it blind. It is a blind review as to the students. The student's role. The students must name each file appropriately with their student number. Example, you know, your student number, underscore, business letter one, etc. Students must use appropriate openable files. Individual student discussion boards. The instructor must name each discussion board with, student, with a student number. The discussion boards must be set to allow anonymous uploads. Students should upload their pieces. Before inviting the outside reader to review, the instructor should check each discussion board to make sure all the files are there, students have uploaded in the proper discussion board, they have the student name removed, and all the files are open. Instructors should resolve problems before inviting the outside readers into their angel space to review the portfolios. Assessment Partners. Instructors work in pairs reviewing each other's students' work. The course coordinator provides a review and exchange schedule. The course coordinator arranges for assessment partners to be added to each other's angel spaces prior to week 14. Instructors should use all effort to stay with the schedule provided, but if instructors have glitches and need short revisions to the exchange and review schedule, they should contact their assessment partner directly and request this. If, when reviewing the student work of another instructor, an outside reader sees something amiss, i.e. a file won't open, or whatever, the outside reader may contact his or her assessment partner with an inquiry and provide time for this to be corrected. Grading. The grade sheets for instructor outside reads are sent to the outside reader via email by the coordinator. The outside reader grades the portfolios and then sends the grade sheet directly to the instructor. The instructor completes the grade sheet, adding his or her final grade, and submits this to B. Dennis, copy the coordinator. The instructor uploads the final grades to Banner. So the coordinator sends the grade sheets to the person who's reviewing the folders. That person fills it out and then sends it directly to the person that they're working with. And then that person, who's the instructor, fills it out and then ultimately turns it in um, Demonstration of how to set up the folders in Angel. Okay, you go into the Angel space that's provided for your class, and under Lessons, you will set up a portfolio folder. You can label this however you want. For now, I'm going to set it to be invisible, since it's only week 7. Okay, once you have the portfolio folder set up, you can name it however you want, that's clear. You will, of course, eventually, usually put this at the very top of your Lessons tab so that the outside reader can easily find it. And then, um, you know, you can put anything else in here that you want directions and so forth that you want students to read. And um, you want very clear directions to the students. Um, there usually is, in my, when I've taught these courses, there usually is minor glitches with um, people uploading to the wrong folder and that kind of thing. And so um, I usually tell my students to be available in case anything goes amiss so that I can call them so that um, we can um, find a solution to the problem. So what you want to do, though, when it comes time is you create a discussion forum for each student, naming it with the student number.
So let's say the student was, let's just make up a number. We want to go to the interaction tab and this is, I've done this, I've forgotten to do this in the past and it's, I couldn't find a way to just make it go anonymous so I had to download everybody's um, portfolio pieces onto my hard drive, redo all the discussion boards and then upload them all manually so it was very time consuming. So what you want to do, it's, it looks like the default is set, is set to disable anonymous posts. You want to set this to make all posts anonymous and that way when the student uploads their materials it won't you know give their identity and so the way that I do it and I would leave, you have to allow attachments and so forth the way that I do this is I just create one and then um, I just copy it I copy it you know 17 18 times however many students I have and then I just um, go through as I, I go through once they're all copied and I change the student number. So then I would go into settings and change the student number. And the students will go and find the number that matches up to their student number and that's how they, they upload their pieces. You might want to remind them that not to put information in the message box um, like the post title, put their student number in there or just say what the assignment is, business letter one or something like that. But you know, if they put their name in the post title, that defeats the purpose of the anonymous review and so um, they'll need to attach their files and their files will be named with their student number. And then once that's all completed, you will need to go in here and check that everything is in order and then the way that um, I do this is then hopefully right, you know, sometime before I'm supposed to have my portfolios available, which the exchange schedule um, provides for that. I'll email the instructor I'm working with and say, hey, my portfolios are ready anytime, anytime you're ready. And then during the review process, um, we usually communicate with each other, you know, as we, as we move forward. And that's it. Thank you.